Express. It is me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. As you can see, it is the 16th of February 2019, and we are currently out of the relegation zone. We are in 20th place in the table, so fairly similar to where you left us after the last video, which was the FA Cup game at home against Stoke. We did lose that game, but as Stoke in the Premier League was always expected to lose that game. But since then, things have been going okay-ish. We did go three games after that one without a victory. We did pick up a point at Bristol Rovers, pretty decent point. And then we did beat Wickham 3-0 in a very good result, which I was really happy with. Elliot List, Osa Davey with a cracking goal, two goals in two minutes there. And Kieran Cadogan picked up the last goal, all within the first 35 minutes. So I was really happy with that. But then after that, it was a disaster against surely what has got to be one of FM's favourite teams, AFC Wimbledon. They came and thrashed us 6-1 at their place. The only man getting a goal back is the new signing, Ruari Keating. And yeah, that was just a disastrous performance. I really was not happy. I've changed a few things. And in the very last game, which was a game I was considering bringing to you, but I thought form has not been that good. So I'll try and improve it a little bit before bringing you another video. And well, boy, have we improved. We beat my old club, Brentford County or Brentford City. And we beat them and it was a very good performance. 1-0, we just set up to play on the counter even though we was at home. And Brentford did not threaten us at all. And this is a Brentford team that are challenging right up, right up at the top of the table. And they even have Andy Carroll in their squad. So I was really fearful that they were going to come and batter us. But luckily and rather typically, Andy Carroll went off after 9 minutes. Never heard that story before, have we lads? Andy Carroll going off of an injury. Never happens, does it? And so that leads us on to today's game, which is our way at, was your way at Mansfield. And just before we crack on with that game, I'm just going to go through the transfers that we have had. If we just take it from where I've taken over on the 1st of January, we've got Ruari Keating, who I was just telling you about. Picked him up from Torquay. Bit of a weird one, some of you might say, but he did play really well in the game against us in the cup. And so I thought I'd pick him up. And if you look there, he looks decent, doesn't he? He looks okay -ish. But what I'm more interested in is his career stats. And for Torquay, he had 5 in 11 and 7 in 37. And he's come in for us. He's only played two games for us, but he's already got a goal. At least the highest level he has ever played at. And I think there might be something a little bit about him where he can pick up a few goals for us. And following him up, it's Marco Massaro. We all know about him from our time at Newport. Not going to go into too much in depth about him. And then the next one is we've got Fashon Newfield on loan from my club, West Ham United. And he looks very good for this level. 16 acceleration, 17 pace, 11 crossing, 3.5 star current ability, 4 star potential ability. And left back was a position we was really, really weak in. So I thought I would pick up a couple of players there to try and improve the squad. And the next couple of players to come in did pick, did, did sort of sort out a position we was poor in. It was Jordan Bullard. He's a goalkeeper on loan from Leicester, 18 years old. I was really not happy with how Holy was doing in goal. I've sent him off to a church to go and pray to be a better goalkeeper. Hopefully that'll work. I'll tell you in the future if it does. And so Bullard's coming on loan. He's not played yet for us. And the reason being is that immediately as soon as I got him in, I got offered this fella, Ryan Allsop from Wigan. And we've brought him in on a permanent transfer. 26-year-old English. He does say he's only two and a half star current and potential ability there. But I think his ratings here far, far outweigh that. He has looked very good for us since coming into the club taking the 6-1 game out of it when nobody was good 
So he is coming to the club, and we've actually paid real actual money for him. We've paid 28,000 for him, which is pretty similar to the 28,500 we paid for Masaro. And so that is our whole total transfer outlay of 57,000 so far. So we're actually spending money for once, which is quite nice. And also to fill in at left back, we have brought in Miles Kenlock from Ipswich on loan. He looks pretty decent as well. 19 heading, which is could be quite useful for left back. A 13 acceleration, 12 pace, two and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. So a lot of growth there for him in the future if we can keep hold of him next year. And next couple after him is Felipe Melo. Some of you may know him. I think he's been here, there, and everywhere across football. He's been at Sheffield Wednesday. He's been at Moyarenzi in the Port in the Portuguese Premier League. He's done okay during his little career. And he looks like he could be a decent defensive midfielder slash centre-back for us. So I'm quite happy to have got him in on a free transfer. And now if we just go back. then And the last one we've brought in, last bit of business for us this year, is Charlie Colkett. On loan from Chelsea, 22 year old English, advanced playmaker, can also play as a deep line playmaker. I've only played him in the one game, which was the Brentford game, and he did play very well. He's not going to be playing today just because his fitness just isn't quite up to scratch yet, but he's three and a half star current ability, four star potential ability. And I think once we get him fit, get him running into a load of games, he can do very well for us. And so that all takes us onto the team for today's game. It's Ryan Alsop in goal. It's Oliver Neuville, or Vassar Neuville, sorry, in left back. It's Cook, Mello and Jackson as our back four. Then in the centre of the park, we've got Wright and Ossa Davey, who's been crack who's been popping up with a cracking couple couple little goals in the last few games. And we've got Cadogan, Redmond and Gonzalez just behind the main man, Sam Surridge who's not scored too many lately. I think this is going to be his last chance to pick up a goal or two. Because if he doesn't, I have got Masaro waiting in the wings, who did score in the last game. And so, here we go. Let's see if we can pick up a big, big three points here away at Mansfield. And the media prediction is saying that they actually fancy us to win this one, which is always nice to see. Mansfield are quite near us. They're 17th in the table. And just four points ahead of us. So if we win this, we can hopefully get away from the relegation scrap and give ourselves a little bit of breathing space. And they're going 4-4-2. We're going for our 4-2-3-1. Let's hope that just like against Brentford in the last game, we can limit them to absolutely nothing occurring and we can pick up a victory. I say to lads, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge and they were motivated. So let's see if that can help us pick up a victory here. As now it's Mansfield with the ball. I have now figured out what colours we do play in. So no more confusion going on hopefully. And now we have got all shopping goal picking up the ball for us. And um, first 10-15 minutes going. Not too much occurring which is what you would expect with us being set up just to hit them on the counter. As now with them on the ball they play it forward but right intercepts it for us. And that's Redmond on the ball. But he has it taken off him by Thomas. And it's Anderson with the ball. And what's he going to do with it? He's going to try and beat our man. He does. He beats one man. He beats two men. Oh, whoops, this could, this could be bad. And ah, oh, It was all about the play on the wing there. And it's Tavon Campbell with the goal for Mansfield. Not good enough defensively there. As we just see it now in the 3D, he gets past R2, wingers and the left back there far too easily. And the keeper, he doesn't even try to stop that really, does he? Would have expected a lot better. As now Mansfield in the lead. I'm going to leave this until half time and just to see if we can hit back before making any sort of changes. As now just 26, 27 minutes gone, they have had the more amount of shots. But we've dominated on the possession, so that's got to be something that can be hopeful for us to get back into the game. Time is going really slowly here. 
and now 35 minutes gone, it's picking up again now. And just heading towards half time. Are we going to see any other highlights? Come on, just one more before half time would be nice. Come on, show us something. And that's half time. Changes are needed. I'm going to go attacking. And as far as instructions go, I'm going to go hit early crosses and leave it at that. Maybe go a little bit wider. And I'm going to go to the team, you've not been good enough. And they're all fired up and motivated. And now second half is us to start off the half. Jackson with the ball out wide. Can he get it forward? He can. It goes to Osadebi. The forward to Redmond, to right. And is right going to find a teammate? No, he's not. He's going to do absolutely nothing. And a highlight is going to die out right there. And 46, 47 minutes on the clock. It's Mansfield with the next attack. And Williamson with the header. It goes over the bar. Quite a poor header, thank God. 50 minutes on the clock now. We're not attacking or challenging too much. I think I am going to make some changes now. Just to give us half a chance of getting back into the game. I think I'm going to go 4-4-2. Four, four, just to sort of even up with them. And Gonzalo can go up top. Redmond. What can Redmond do? He's a central midfield. I don't particularly want to change either with them. And Cadogan. Is he happy on the right? Yes he is. And so is Redmond happier there. But I think I'm going to take Gonzalez off. Or do I take Savage off? Change both of them I think. Change him for Keaton. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And bring Masaro on for Surridge. And let's see if those two can be the change that we need. To get back into this game. Just going to go to Keaton. I've got faith in you. He's gained confidence. And Masaro, same again. They're both happy with that. And hopefully we can get back into this game now. Just going to go attacking again. And 65 minutes gone. And again, not too much occurring here. I'm going to make a couple of changes. Pump the ball up long. And shoot on sight. And there we go. Come on, lads. 10 minutes left. We need a better performance than what you are currently giving us. And it's them on the attack. Anderson with a free kick. And it gets headed away. Otter Davy has it. Now it's Masaro on the ball. What can he do with it? Can he find Keaton? Can he find another teammate? He can do nothing. Brilliant lad. Okay, and Osser Davy. Nope. Mello now picks up the ball. It's right. Come on, lad. Get it forward. Osser Davy. Back to right. And right plays it out wide. And Redmond he should get onto this. And he does. He with a cross. And Keaton. Ah, oh, off the bar. Cadogan. Ah. Oh, Cook. Ah, oh, Sizzuk or whatever the, whatever the goalkeeper's name is. I don't care. He's he saved it. Ah, oh, that is the best period of play we have had so far in this game. And we're going forward again. Williamson heads it away. It's Osser Davy with the ball. He plays it into Redmond. And Redmond now with the cross. And Masaro, yes! Masaro, two goals in two games. And we are level. The change to 4-4-2 has worked. And Masaro is on form again like he was for us at Newport. As now it's Redmond with the ball. He does a bit of a spin. He crosses it into the box. And Masaro does what Masaro does. He puts the ball right to the corner of the net. And now 10 minutes left. Can we go and pick up a very unlikely victory from how the rest of the game is gone? It's now their goalkeeper to clear the ball long. And now we head the ball away. But Anderson just flicks it on again. But Wright picks it up first. He, he does the right thing. Otto Davy with the ball long. It's Keaton through on goal. Keaton, ah, oh, Masaro. Oh, off the post. Oh, I thought we, nicked a, thought we nicked another goal there. And now, come on, five minutes left. We can go and win this now. It's them on the attack with a corner. And also, yes, dominating his area. He says, my ball, and he takes it. And now, come on, one more goal. We can win this. We can win this now. It's all shot to play it long. And it gets headed away. Anderson goes past our man. And Campbell tries to go forward, but Cook nicks it back with a great piece of defensive play there. 
plays it long and it's Masaro. He collects the ball and he plays it long and Keaton, Keaton is through and he goes for the shot for miles out but it gets parried over but it is a corner. We have played so much better in these last 10 minutes than what we have in the first 70 odd. And now Mello with a ball, but it gets headed away. And Pierce, what's he going to do? He plays it long to Campbell. And Campbell, is he going to cross the ball in? He's got a teammate on rushing. And Campbell, and oh, Mello with a great interception there. Great tracking back. Oh, this game really has got end to end in the last 10 minutes. Also, Davies got an injury, but I'm going to leave him on. And, oh, this should be the last attack of the game. And, it's, and it is. Oh, what a last 10 minutes that was, lads. We have got back and we've picked up a point, And every point does matter at this stage of the season when you are as low as us. And that leaves us still in 20th place, still out of the relegation zone. Only by goal difference. But... I am happy with that performance, at least in the last 10 minutes. And so I'm going to leave the first half of the episode there. I'll be back with you for the second game at home to Walsall. I'll be with you for that in just a moment. Hello guys, we are back for the second part of today's episode at home to Walsall. And not too many changes might surprise some of you considering how the first game went for the majority. But I think the change to 4-4-2 right at the end did surprise them. So I'm going to stick with that same sort of idea and that same sort of tactic today. And just a, one, just a couple of changes in the centre of the park today. Colkit and Angel have come in just because Cadogan picked up an injury after the last game. And I thought, I thought Colkit and Angel was a better combination in the centre of the park if Cadogan can't play. And so with all that said... I'm going to leave Savage up top. I know he's not scored. He hasn't scored for a little while. But he is due one. And I think Masaro coming off the bench is working well as well. And so let's crack on with the game. Media prediction is saying that they can't look beyond Walsall for this. Not really surprising. Because if you have a look at the league table here. They are fourth in the table. But we did just beat Brentford a couple of games ago. Who are now third in the table. So you never know. Couldn't, we could pick up another win. And let's go. I'm just going to say to the lads, just to go out there and prove a point. And let's go that again. Avenge. And a couple of them are motivated. I've got to change up the team talks. And here we go. First half, it's us to start with the ball. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how the result went in the last game. If we can improve that for this, I'll be very happy. I don't think we're in too much danger of going down. We have had a couple of catastrophic performances since I've been here. But, on the whole, results have been fairly decent, I think. And so, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of our prediction for the rest of the season? Do you think we're going to stay up? Do you think we'll go down? Are you happy with who we've brought in? Are you not happy? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I look forward to talking with all you lads. And then, five minutes into the game, we have had three shots on target. And we are dominating this game, rather surprisingly. And that's Angel with the ball. Gives it forward to Redmond. Redmond through to Surridge. And Surridge is through. Is this the moment? No, it's not. Thought, oh, I thought that was going to be the moment Surridge got his first goal for a while. But very pleasing to see how we are dominating a team who are chasing the playoffs. And it's Redmond with the ball. He crosses it in. And it gets headed away. I think that's going to be a throw in for us, is it? Yes, it is. So 10 minutes in. We are doing very well here. And now 15 minutes in and it's saying Sol just picked up an injury. And so it looks like Masaro is going to have to go off. He's going to have to come on, sorry. For Surridge. A little bit earlier than I would have liked. But let's hope he can make the most of this opportunity. And with him having longer on the pitch, maybe he can score a couple. And there we go. 22 minutes gone. We've still dominated this game. Walsall have not yet had a shot on target. Oh, here we go. First one hits, hits our wall and goes away. And now it's Newville to pick the ball up. And what's he going to do with it? Is he going to get it forward? Is he going to get it into a man? He plays it to Colkit in a little bit of space. And can he find a teammate? He gets it to Angel, who plays it to Redmond. We're keeping the ball very nicely here. I'm loving this. Skadogan to Angel. And what's he going to do? He finds Masaro. 
who finds Redmond, and Redmond, he gets a shot off, but wow, that was wide. That was, that was so wide. He should be ashamed of that. And that's a 40 minutes just about coming up on the clock. Warsaw have only had the two shots. We've had 10 shots, but only two of ours have been on target. But that is always that's always nice to see that we are at least dominating it and we are getting towards their their goal in their area. It's Redmond with another long shot. Oh, hits the bar and comes back down. Oh, there is a goal coming for us soon. Come on, lads. One before half time would be beautiful. As now, Gonzalez just been caught offside for something. And then it's 13 shots to, our, to, their, to their two. And if I can say to the lads that you're doing well, keep it up. And a couple of them are delighted. And let's leave it at that for now. Don't want to go too attacking and get ourselves caught out. And 52 minutes on the clock. Not too much occurring in this second half. 15 shots to their two, 62% of possession has been ours. And now I think it's time to bust out the 4-4-2 and see if we can get a similar result as in the last game. And change Gonzalez and Redmond. And oh, don't know what he's doing being dragged over there. And then Redmond over to Cadogan. But I'm going to take Gonzalez off for Keaton. And I think that's about where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go confirm changes. And Keaton, I've got confidence. And he's deep in thought. And half an hour, 20 minutes left to go. Come on, lads, pick up a win. And Masaro, Masaro's gone off injured. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, what do you do here? What do you do here? I've got nobody that can play on the left, so I don't particularly want to throw Redmond forward. And I don't want to pick up a, a loss. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Masaro, I'm going to leave Masaro there and whoever this thinks Masaro can be replaced by. Hmm. I'm going to go Aaron Morris. No, no, I'm not. I'm Hesenthaler. There you go. And change Hesenthaler and Colkit around and put Colkit as a shadow striker. And... Lob the ball forward again. See if we can catch them out over the top. Shoot on sight. Pump ball into box. And there we go. Going to go to Hezen Tyler. I've got faith. Show me what you've got tonight. Ah, he's deep in fault. And so last 15 minutes of the game. Not one but two strikers been injured today. But can whoever's left on the pitch pick up a goal for us. As oh no it's them on the attack. But Mel Melo tries to get back and oh. Walshaw had the lead. Amadou Bakayoko with the goal. And just going to wait and see this in the 3D. And here we go. It's just a throw in. Beltran beats Cook far too easily. Melo kicks it against his man. Which somehow gets to Bakayoko. And he has an easy attempt to put the ball into the net. And that's unfortunate. I don't think we deserve to be beaten here. We have been much the better side. How Walsall have come out with a victory, I don't know. That is um, that is what I'm going to say to the lads. Really unlucky, really unfortunate. And they're happy and they've gained confidence. And so we've apparently dropped back into relegation zone. But I do think we can still get out of it. We are only in it by a point. And so that is where I'm going to leave it for today, lads. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up down below and please subscribe to the channel. I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.